I think about acting like a baby every day. For me, it's, it's a big part of my life. It's something you can go to bed doing. I like to have a bottle each night when I go to bed and gotta have my pacifier. Stanley might be 31 years old, but for the past 18 years, he is 31. For the past 18 years. Humanity is doomed, I'm just gonna say right now. He's gone to remarkable lengths to remain young at heart. Very young. An adult baby is somebody who gets satisfaction by dressing or acting as a baby. I either like to put on my crib toys or my mobile and let them play as I fall asleep. And he doesn't just talk the baby talk. He dedicates eight hours a day role playing as a toddler. It's OK, so after the eight hours is over, he just goes in the kitchen, gets a beer, puts on sports. Hey, honey, I forgot to take trash out. Can you mind me more? It's not sexual at all. It's a feeling of being Yeah, of course it's not, because who would want to get in there with that? Like, she, he gets on the phone with somebody he just met up to know, Hey, baby, you want to come to my house and Netflix and chill? Or Nickelodeon and chill just to make it even better? Safe, something I didn't have when I was Faggot. growing up. And being an adult baby became my way of coping with the world and my own problems. Plenty of people turn a room into a nursery. But Stanley transformed his entire apartment into a playground, complete with toddler toys, kitty wall decals, and even a playpen. For me, I'm in baby mode on and off all day. When I'm trying to get into my role, I try to imagine what a kid might be like. Some would feel that I'm obsessed with acting like a baby. With all the props and everything I have, it's more than most people do. Those are not props, my guy. When I role play, I tend to like to stay around the age two range. I find the whole environment of being in a nursery very calming. This is my favorite pacifier. I like the blue one. And so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's destruction day. <laughs> we found him. We Website found who calls 911. Website adult babies actually sell cribs built for grown-ups. But at upwards of $2,000, they're far. He, he did 911. It's confirmed. Or maybe it was Bush. On are too expensive. So he painstakingly converted his own twin bed into a cozy custom crib. This is my crib. It's three feet wide, seven feet long, adult size, of course. You can go up and down like a traditional crib. To make it a little easier to get in so you're not hopping over a rail, I have it Velcroed so you can actually open the door from the side. I feel having a crib is the most important thing. The bars signify safety, and it's something... Those signify safety. Safety. As if Herbert the pervert couldn't literally just jump over that, get in there and rape you and... Oh my god. But when you're five feet six inches tall, a typical high chair can be a tight squeeze. Imagine being 31 and being five foot six. I'm really taller than this dude. Please. So he designed and built his own, strong enough to support up to 500 pounds. Is that piss? I really enjoy it. It makes you feel like a kid. Oh my. No. No, there, there is no way. This man. What are you doing, dog? This. This dude. Hi chair, I wanted to get one for a long time. The ones online are a couple thousand dollars and I couldn't afford that kind of thing. So I made something that was simple with a with few tools that I had. Today, Stanley eats all of his meals in his high chair and he has a serious taste for kid cuisine. I like to have my meals, eat something and watch cartoons. Just kind of have fun. This man's over here eating, eating baby formula. The babies don't even like this. So let's say apocalypse or something like that was happening and, and all the baby food needed to go to freaking uh, babies and then this dude is over here. He's killing babies. Terrorist. Terrorist. Stanley has even tried baby formula, but like every other toddler, he can be extremely selective. 
it's not like too much of the banana flavor and it's not too much of the strawberry. So it's, it's a perfect blend. Most two-year-olds have moved on from baby bottles to sippy cups, but Stanley still isn't ready to give his up. You just want to get home. Is something he keeps under wraps. Though technically he's fully toilet trained, Stanley sports a diaper every day. When I was... Are you kidding me? Hang on a second. Are you kidding me? This man, does he, does he, does he go in it? 13, I started having bedwetting problems and started using diapers and that was where it started for me. I like to keep my diapers close to my crib so it's easy to change. But toddler diapers aren't exactly made for an active grown-up lifestyle, so he had to get creative, combining adult-sized diapers with a baby diaper to make it more absorbent. They can go up to between eight and 10 hours without needing a change. I kind of have um, mixed feelings when it comes to the diapers. There's times when it's like, been doing a lot of moving around, and all of a sudden there's fluff falling out the back of the diaper because the diaper fell apart. I uh, just got regular baby powder, creates a layer between you and the diaper. That way the diaper can move without causing a rash. I feel like when I'm wearing a diaper that it's like a constant hug from mommy. I hate to burst your bubble here, but mommy, she might have not been hugging around the wrong, uh, the right area, man. Most people hug around the neck or the torso, not the genitals. By now he's got the routine.